Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for stopping by. I am here with a um, quick little project share um, for, and a shout out for um, Deb Hendrick. Um, it's her birthday and she's also trying to reach 1,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. So um, I'll link her channel below. You guys, please go give her a, um, a follow and and um, help her su support her and help her to grow her channel. Um, I'm already sub, so I can't <laughs> can't do it again. But maybe some of you guys can go help her out and subscribe to her. And she's really trying to get to a thousand. She's fairly close. I think she's like at 985, something like that. So it would really be great if we could help her get to that 1,000 mark. So anyway, I just wanted to um, do a quick share of what I'm going to send her before it's too late for her <laughs> to get there. So, um, first off, um, this is, this is one thing that I made her. Um, I recently shared that I had got some dies from, what did I get it from? I think KS Pack. See? Anyway, um, sorry, I'm kind of out of it, guys. Had some bad stuff going on lately, so anyway, um, forgive me if I'm, I'm I'm having a hard time keeping my train of thought. So anyway, um, I got this dye from them, and it's um, supposed to be. I think it says it's a chocolate box, so it's got layering pieces and stuff, and you just um, put this together, <coughs> and then there's a frame that goes around this, it goes like that. Anyway, um, so rather than make it just a a box, I decided to put it together and make, I just added them together and made a, um, I made, cut out a whole bunch of them and made like a little booklet. Okay, so here's the front, um, and I, I cut out the, the square, so it's got a um, acetate little um, square in there. Now you can make a shaker out of that very easy. Um, I didn't make a shaker, I decided just to decorate the outside and I you know, put a few different things on it and stuff. Um, but what I decided to do was just like make it like frame the what I put on the inside. So I, I put on put some little decorations on the inside, and this just like pops over the top of it. So rather than making a shaker, so just something different. So there's that page, and then there's that. Okay, and then um, I made her a bunch of um, butterfly. Uh, bag toppers. That's another um, die that I got from in that same order, and it had that really cute layered up um, um, butterfly topper dies. So this one's layered up, and then I used some sequins there in the middle, and I popped it up on foam, so the front's really layered. And then I used some of this um, stuff I showed you guys. I got in a haul a while, a while back. It's some of this. Um, we are memory keepers. It's fusible. Um, it's a ruffle strip, and so it's already in strips, and it's kind of like a little bit scored, so you just fold it. <coughs> and rather than um, fuse it, I just decided to sew it. So I just folded it and sewed it down the middle, and then. You can't really see it because I covered it up with some of this other um, chevron washi. It's really thick, which is kind of cool. Um, so I put a layer of that over anyway, and then I just tacked it down on each side so it would make um, so it's open in the in on the middle, so I can just you know slide that um, bag topper down over that. Okay, so this this one is a couple of the little. Um, the garden party uh, tassels I made and got a uh, little gold jumping on the top and some um, trim and then I put another piece of the um, chevron tape across the top of the baggie. <coughs> on the side I made her a uh, rosette <coughs> and this is um, out of 110 paper and I just put some I just left it plain so she could decorate how she wanted it. Other than I did trim it with some um, <coughs> some stickles, and on the inside um, I put a little pom pom down the center. So I didn't put it on top. I put it 
in the middle before I squished it all together and glued it to glued the um, rosette together so the pom pom sticks out both sides. So it's really cute. And then I just poured some. Um, uh, I think I put um, triple thick around the edge, and then I just sprinkled a bunch of those tiny little um, diamond dots around. And that gave it a real pretty look. Okay, and then the next page over here, um, I made her a couple bows, layered up bows. This also was a die that I just got um, in that same haul. So I cut it out of the pink and the gold and then layered it up. And I just attached those on this uh, acetate piece with gold foil dots. And then I also got a um, uh, new rosette die. It's, it's one of the dies I also got. And so rather than make a regular rosette, I decided to um, like how it looked kind of fanned out. And so I just put two pieces back to back and then so it's like flat on the bottom. And then I, in the back, I attached it to this cute little um, clothespin. And then I poked a hole in the top of my clothespin with my, um, like my bottle cap piercer thing tool. <laughs> and then I put a little jump ring in a tiny little pink heart charm right there on the top and then I just put a couple pieces of stuff to decorate at the front so anyway that will just that just um, clips down over the top so she can take that off and use it for something else or whatever but I'm just gonna clip it on there for now and then in this page I made another rosette from garden party if you can tell can't tell this is all garden party stuff and then I cut her out some um, tags um, out of that new, <coughs> this is that new We Are Memory Keepers punch that I got. Um, it cuts out one and a half, two and two and a half inch um, tags, and it also cuts the hole for you and it angles the sides. So all you got to do is just cut it to length at the bottom, you know, how much, how long you want it. So I just cut her three of those and then I um, attached some of those cute um, Heidi Swap gold glitter hole reinforcers. Put those on top there. So and then I just kind of, I just use this rosette. I just put it, tacked it down the middle. So these are just kind of like tucked there. So they won't stay in place very long, but just hopefully make it till I get, till it gets there. And then this page I just kind of left blank. Just added a piece of uh, a sticker from the collection. Then a, a felt bow that I cut out and then a uh, puppy sticker from the collection. Here's another um, uh, butterfly bag topper. Like I said, I just slid it down behind there. Another one of the ruffle trims that I made. So that's right there for her. And then I attached some trim on this end. And I actually, um, I sewed around all these pages and I actually sewed the trim in between these two layers. So the trim is sewed in between. Um, and then this one, a cute little bow I had made, it's just, um, it's just kind of plain so she can decorate it up however she wants to. And then on the last page, here's another um, of the butterfly bag toppers just to hang there. Okay, and then my little thing on the back. And so it's super thick and chunky, so I'm probably just going to... Uh, probably, I don't know, I'll either just tie a piece of tool or something around it to keep it together, or else I'll just put it in a bag or something like that, but anyway, she can take all these pieces out and then actually, like, use this for, like, a little mini album or something if she would like, you know, and then she can use these other pieces, like the, the fan and stuff like that to come off um, for other things. Submit me. And then, um, on the, in the center, I tied some, um, gold elastic Band. That's what I tied around the middle right here. Let me show you. Tied that around the middle and I just strung a few little just white pearl beads in there for the center. So this is what I'm going to send her. And um, also another item I received in that die haul was a um, cute little die that makes this like a little crayon box. So um, I may cut this all out. I layered it all up. It comes with layering pieces for each of the pieces, so it's all layered up. It's all sewn, and um, yeah. So inside, 
what I did was I took some of my little jars and I put a little bit of washi, garden party washi tape around the bottom and then I um, filled these up with some different colors of um, sequins for her. Okay, and then I also had some of these little gold spoons that I got at, um, I think I got them at, oh, where did I get them? I can't remember if it was Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. But anyway, I took my little punch again, you know, that you use for your bottle tops, I, bottle caps. I punched a hole out there again with that and then attached a jump ring and then I attached a little um, uh, seam binding um, dangle with a little another little glitter filled ball and stuff. So that just hangs on there like that. So I thought that would be a fun little gift for her. And then I also made a couple more butterflies layered and so this is the same die as the um, for the um, bag topper but I just didn't make the bag topper part these are just the layering pieces so and you can eat I could have easily made a shaker again with because it's got the you know the edge and stuff but I just decided to make them flat and what I use for the background this um, chevron is I took these two chevron big large chevron washi uh, things from we are memory keepers and I layered them up and there's one on top of the other and then on a piece of white cardstock and then I just cut out the shape and then I cut out the um, trim in gold and then I put gold sequins there in the center for the body I think it turned out pretty cute so those are just kind of back here in the back and then all these so this holds quite a quite a bit and these little jars will just go right in here <clears throat> and then the spoon also just fits right down inside there. And then I uh, will wrap it up. I have a little um, layered up bow um, that I'm going to attach to it. So, but I want to show you what's inside before I tie it up. So I'm going to tie it up with some this uh, baker's twine, twine and then just put this bow on it. So I getting fell ready. down the plastic still oh, and help my sorry. knee and my. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So sorry. Okay. Um, so anyway, get ready to send that out to her before I'm too late to get it there. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, everybody, take care, and um, I'll be back soon. I have some other things I need to share, and um, I have a, a haul, another haul video I need to share from few days worth of Holly and stuff last week and oh, stuff so hurts. anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you guys I gave you guys some ideas some things to create and stuff and I hope you guys all take care talk to you soon oh, and like, again hurts. I will list Deb's channel um, down below so you can go give her uh, support okay and <clears throat> Deb I hope you reach your goal so anyway take care guys bye bye